It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you very much. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, this was a terrible week for the world, but a great week for random idiots who like to share completely unhinged thoughts wherever they can. <laughs> and weirdly, it's not even on social media anymore. I saw a thousand-word essay called How I'd Fix Palestine, <laughs> and it was posted in a Yelp review of a Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Even world leaders who could be making it better are making it worse. For example, former President Trump went out of his way to praise the terrorist group Hezbollah, calling them, quote, very smart. Though, in Trump's defense, he thinks Hezbollah is the genie from Aladdin. <laughs> LaFonza Butler was sworn in as California's newest senator, becoming the first openly black woman in Congress. Um, you mean second, said George Santos. <laughs> <laughs> New York Congress, New York Congressman George Santos, seen here in a promo for a pawn shop reality show, was indicted on federal charges including conspiracy, wire fraud, and identity theft. He was also indicted for reckless homicide when that button shot off his jacket and killed a bystander. <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey senator and most successful member of the Lollipop Guild, Bob Menendez, <laughs> was indicted on new charges accusing him of accepting bribes from Egypt. Menendez denied the allegations, calling them as over the top as my new bejeweled scarab. <laughs> Republicans on Friday nominated Jim Jordan to be the next House Speaker. Jordan is best known for denying the 2020 election results, looking the other way on an Ohio State sexual abuse scandal, and for his role as anger in Inside Out. <laughs> Playboy has cut ties with porn star Mia Khalifa after she expressed support for Hamas. See, Lauren, I was Googling her for work. <laughs> in a new interview... <laughs> In a new interview, Jada Pinkett Smith reveals that she and husband Will Smith have actually been separated since 2016, ironically, after he suggested that she should star in G.I. Jane 2. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what happened. Yeah. A public library in Alabama has flagged a children's picture book as potentially sexually explicit just because the author's last name is gay. <laughs> Though, to be fair, the book is titled Gays Porn for Kids. 